Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you're new here, welcome. Me and Riley, this is my dog, Riley. Oh, good girl! We just finished up a walk at this really beautiful park nearby my house. Um, it's stunning. It's just so lush and green and sunny and peaceful and just amazing. So, we just finished up a walk and she did such a good job and I was so excited to bring her because this trail has so many smells like there's like snakes and armadillos and like all kinds of critters in there and so I just thought you know what a good walk for her a good experience she can get her sniffs in and I can get some movement in but um yeah, we're going to go reward ourselves now, and we're going to go to Starbucks. We're going to get a coffee, and of course, we're going to get her a pup cup. So, that is the plan for today. Angel's mom is flying in this morning. Um, they have a trade show this weekend, which is so exciting. It's his first trade show for Breathe Naturals, which is his natural deodorant company, if you didn't know. Um, excuse me. So, he has a trade show. So, his mom is flying in and they're going to go to that this weekend. It's in West Palm Beach, I think. So, it's just going to be you and me, girl. You and me and her <laughs> for the whole weekend, pretty much. Um, and then a little bit into the week. So, I'm very excited. See what fun stuff we can get into and yeah. So, I did just start my period this morning though. So, I'm a little tired, but It'll still be a really fun weekend. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get coffee and we'll see you guys in a little bit. Cool. Yeah, I even took her to this. Um... All right, I just picked up some packages from our meal room. So, I'm very excited for both of them, but this one, it's actually really funny because I told everyone, like, everyone, like, recently that I don't like these things, and here I am getting my own. Like, literally just last week, I was, like, telling people, I was like, no, I don't like Apple Watches. Like, I don't like watches in general, I don't like things on my wrist. Here I am now, you know, such a sucker. Well, not a sucker. I just think it's good to have, I really just want something, honestly, to tell the freaking time. Like, instead of having to pull out my phone all the time, especially when I'm traveling, I really, that's when I realized, I was like, you know what, fuck this, I'm getting a watch, is when I was going through the airport and I could not, I like didn't know what time it was and I was hustling and, um, you know, we travel with Riley and stuff, so I'm like, this is just too much. So, anyways, here we have it. Also, I... I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Look how tiny. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'm sorry, whose wrist is fitting in this? Excuse me? Like, are you for real? There's no, there's no way my wrist is gonna fit in this, right? Okay. <laughs> it actually fits, that's crazy. Um, I think it's on the wrong way though. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I uh, haven't had an Apple watch in so long. The first watch that I had was, like Apple watch was a series one and it worked really great. And then it stopped working. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna set this up and then make breakfast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, happy Saturday. I did not film much yesterday because Nigel's mom came into town. They went to a convention for his company. It's called Breathe Naturals. He makes and sells natural deodorant. So there's a there's a really cool trade show happening in West Palm Beach. And so they went over to West Palm Beach to go do that. And so, um, yeah, I didn't really feel much yesterday, but Riley and I just 
rolled out of bed and um, went and got a coffee and now I'm about to make breakfast and try to figure out what we should do today. I don't know if you guys have, if you have a dog and you have a partner, it is like when one of you leaves, it's like their whole world is ending. Like they, Riley has been so sad this morning and just like mopey and it's really sad. So um, I want to have a nice fun day plan so that she's not sad. <laughs> so anyways, I got a Apple Watch yesterday. Very exciting. So I got this band and I'm not sure if I love it. It's very yellow as you can probably tell it's just very yellow and i feel like the casing like that the part that's actually on the watch it's very cheap you know what i mean like it just looks cheap to me i'm not sure if i entirely love it i also the actual band itself this part is very dull i think it looks shinier than it like on camera than it actually is in real life um so I just feel like it, it's very obvious that it's cheap, but yeah, I'm not in love with it, but um, it'll do for now. And um, I just, you know, it's definitely an adjustment when you're not used to having a watch on your wrist and then you do get a watch. It's like very, you know, it's just very like agitating, like on your wrist. Um, anyways, let's make breakfast i know that for sure i want to go down to get an acai bowl for lunch even though it is 12 o'clock right now um later lunch i want to go down and get an acai bowl so we'll go to downtown st pete and then we'll go to benoit park and we'll walk around the water and stuff like that and it'll just be a fun day so i need to eat shower get ready all of that mess my hair is driving me absolutely crazy. I've made the executive decision to cut it. And, um, oh, sorry. I am going to, I'm going to take off a bit. I mean, my appointment is next Friday and I think I'd like, it's a mess right now. So like, don't mind it. But I think I want to do like armpit length or maybe a little lower. So it'll get rid of a good amount. But I do have two rows of extensions in right now. So I'll probably keep the extensions. Obviously I will have less, but it bleached my hair a lot <laughs> for a very long time. And just last year I dyed my hair brown to go back to my natural color. This is my natural color. So I've been literally <laughs> doing everything like everything under the sun, everything I possibly can to rehabilitate my hair and get it back into good health. And it is, it is hard, like really hard, really, really, really hard. I used to have hair down to here back in high school. And it's so crazy looking at the pictures and just seeing how long and thick my hair was. And now, I mean, hold on, let me show you actually a picture. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if it'll focus. Okay, so this was my hair. Oh my gosh, this was um, when I first started seeing her, so a little bit ago. And then I just took, we just took this picture. But see, I was up against this chair, so the hair on the end is pushed up, and I can't really get a good gauge on the health of my hair because you know i can't tell if it's obviously it was super sparse on the left like holy crap right and so my concern you know with um if i don't have extensions is that it's just going to be very thin and still i think it's still a little bit sparse so up here from like here obviously the top of my head down to here i think is a good I think it's very healthy. I think down here is still that hair because it's lighter <laughs> than this hair. So this was dyed at a salon to go brown, but this is, I think most of this is natural growth. Uh, so by cutting it, probably it's like natural length if we actually cut off all of the sparse and dead ends and whatever was like left, if you could say. Um, I want to have just very 
natural looking hair. I just want to cut it. I'm just sick of the long hair. I'm really bored with it. I want to do something different. So I'm going to cut it, take out half the extensions and go from there. But I'm very excited. It's next Friday. And then I have a photo shoot for my company, my business at the end of the month, which is super exciting. They're going to be so cute. Like the pictures are so cute. And I actually, I create this like Google doc for my photographer every time with inspo pictures. And literally I was looking at it the other day, like 75% of the pictures that I put on there from Pinterest, I always take them from Pinterest. The girls have short hair to where I'm getting it cut, which I just thought was really funny. I don't know, maybe subconsciously I've been priming myself to cut it, but yeah, so. It's gonna be a busy week. I have my hair appointment. I'm getting, um, I'm going to my med spa. My Botox is like gone and <laughs> it's awful. Um, so I need to get that touched up and yeah, so it's gonna be, and I have a lot of work to do. So very excited. Um, we also had a girl, a really amazing woman sign up for the December round of BBB, which is very exciting. Um, we're still in the September, the September round is still going and that ends December 5th. Um, and then the new round is starting on December 5th. So we just had the first person sign up for the December round, which is super exciting. And I cannot wait. I like this round. Every round is amazing and I love them so much, but I just love when there's like a holiday involved in the round. Um, so like this current round will go through Thanksgiving. I just think it's so cool because it's my favorite because, um, I teach women how to heal the relationship with food, right? Um, you can still go out to eat. You can still lose weight. Like you don't have to pick between being healthy and enjoying your life. And so when there's a holiday, especially the end of year holidays, because Thanksgiving, Christmas, food related, Thanksgiving is like hearty food. Christmas is sweets. New Year is alcohol. So that's like the holy trinity of like falling off and self-sabotaging. So I really enjoy when there is a, a big holiday like that in the middle of the round because they get to experience this new, their new way of life, their new way of achieving their goals. They get to experience this with their new relationship with food and they get to see what it's like to finally like enjoy a holiday for once and actually want to take pictures and actually want to eat food and not feel guilty about it so yeah, i'm so excited so anyways i love my clients so much but anyways i need to eat my stomach is like grumbling so let's make some avocado toast is served we have two eggs over medium you can see the jiggle if you're not eating your eggs over medium girl you're missing out um i did two pieces of bacon because we had them in the freezer and i need more protein and then i made this um yogurt parfable honestly probably not going to eat this whole thing but um i can always save it for later but there's strawberry greek yogurt in there at the bottom some vanilla coconut i think it's vanilla coconut granola and then just sliced up a fresh peach and some blueberries and sprinkled some or drizzled some honey on top. So, yum!
are going to head to the park. We're going to go grab an acai bowl from downtown St. Pete. And then we're going to head to this um, really nice park that's a couple miles away. It is always so relaxing and chill and clean and nice. So we're going to go head over there and just enjoy the sunshine because it's a really beautiful day. So I am very excited. I am wearing the same outfit as before. I just put on like my sneakers and then um i actually never wear earrings anymore because i have very sensitive ears and they just like irritate me but i also go through phases with jewelry um i went through a necklace phase and now um i'm going through like a no earring phase i went through an earring phase and i bought so many and now i just don't wear them um but today i was kind of feeling it so i'm just wearing these um, little cube ones which are really cute we're gonna go get an acai bowl and go enjoy the sunshine so should be fun Okay, so I forgot to show you like everything in action here, but basically um, my salmon, this is what it looks like. It smells so good. I can't even begin to describe it to you. I put brown sugar on it, um, some paprika, chili powder, garlic, salt, and pepper. And then I boiled my favorite way to roast potatoes is to um, boil them. And then you actually saute them in a pan. So that's what I'm doing now. I have butter, um, garlic, and parsley. And I'm just going to um, brown this garlic. And then I'm actually going to put the potatoes in the pan uh, to give them some brown, some crisp. And they're just so freaking good. You guys are literally not ready. They are so good. And then I'll season them some more in the pan with some other seasonings, um, but I gotta wait until the stuff browns. So I will show you guys the after and everything plated. Okay, here's the final product. We have the salmon and the potatoes. Have some fresh parsley sprinkle on top. Yum, and then some bell peppers. And I actually, the guy at the fish counter gave me too much salmon, so I wasn't really sure how to cut these because um, I'm, I'm pretty hungry, but it's also like frustrating when you make more salmon than you need because um, I don't really like second day salmon, so I don't know. I'm going to have to force myself to eat this because I made it, but anyways, it looks so good. It, well, it doesn't look great, but, but let me tell you, it smells so good. The potatoes are insane and so is the salmon or i took like a little i like licked the fork that i use and i think i'm gonna make some cookies too so i'm very excited all right i am going to just sit here and watch my show and then that'll be it for the night 
I am going to wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. And Riley says bye too. <laughs> see ya.